Alright guys, uh, this is a quick video. I was actually planning to make this video like eight or so months back. Uh, this thing's been finished for the longest time. I just never made a video on it. So, uh, what originally happened was the screen cracked on it that I had in it. And uh, I bought another screen that ended up being cheaper quality. And I had planned on replacing it back, you know, to a better quality screen. But that just never happened. So, go ahead and make the video now way late uh, this is a Raspberry Pi Game Boy DMG mod it's running retro Pi or emulation station uh, this build will look a lot different than other builds you'll see online uh, for the main point being uh, I try to keep mine looking as stock as possible others you'll see are chopped up have things sticking out here uh, ports sticking out with cut holes and just I just tried to keep mine looking just as stock as possible. So I uh, added a USB connector right here. Uh, got a volume slider right here. Still usable. This is the um, this is actually instead of a headphone jack now it's a rerouted uh, Raspberry Pi 3.5 millimeter AV jack. So I could actually plug this up to the TV plug up a USB hub and some controllers to this and play Super Nintendo, uh, Game Boy, whatever, you know, on the TV and use this as a console system. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, the SD slot, let's see if I can, there we go. <laughs> Spring action. Uh, the entire operating system is held on this, so if I ever need to change something, I can just, you know, put this in another pie, work on it, then put it back in here. Instead of having to take this sucker apart all the time. And it's back in. Uh, another thing, the actual charging connector is actually still functional. Uh, the power button's been maintained, so that's still functional. And let's see if I'm missing anything. I did add uh, or Super Nintendo games, uh, PC ports, stuff like that that's on this console. Or system uh, I did add two bumpers and these are just tactile switches just tack switches uh, for left and right bumper up here on the side and that should be it let's go ahead and turn it on oh another thing there's a game bag here but it's just it's been blanked out there's nothing in it it's pretty much there for looks you can't take it in or put it out or I mean it's just there let's go ahead and power it on Maintain the original battery light. All right, and we've got Game Boy, we've got Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, uh, regular Nintendo, PC ports, Sega, Super Nintendo, and actually the PC, or the Pi desktop, but we're not gonna go into that. And let's see, let's go ahead and start with a Game Boy Color game, just to show you how it works. Turn the volume down a little bit. too much. Oh, that didn't help. And I've added hotkeys to get in and out of the games. Uh, select right bumper loads a state. Uh, select and left bumper saves a state. Uh, to go back to emulation station, you simply press select and start, and it'll exit you back out to emulation station. Uh, it's got a ton of ROMs on it. Uh, I pretty much, once I finished it, I just put it down and started on the next project. 
Unfortunately, I haven't had much play time out of this. Let's see. Let's go to Super Nintendo. And the bumpers and emulation station act as page up or down, so quicker navigation. That's it. Let's go ahead and go back to emulation station. So it's a pretty, pretty cool project. <clears throat> Sorry, pretty cool project overall. Uh, it's just, uh, it didn't take too long. It probably took me about, about a, two days maybe, on and off working on it. And like I said, I just haven't really played much with it since. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, uh, just feel free to leave a comment below. And that's it. Thank you for watching.